What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about a topic that I never thought that I would be talking about in 2019 uh, and that is boosting on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for the Xbox 360. So if you guys didn't know, Modern Warfare 2 came out in 2009 for the Xbox 360 and PS3, uh, and back in the day, that was the big thing, right? Call of Duty was at its peak, everybody was playing Modern Warfare 2, YouTube was just starting to take off with gaming content and the Call of Duty community and the commentators and everything like that so modern warfare 2 was a big deal back in the day and people loved modern warfare 2 so much that modern warfare 3 the sequel actually is the best-selling call of duty title to date and one of the things that modern warfare 2 did is that there were 70 levels per prestige and you had 10 prestiges to go through which up until that point was the highest ever that was the most amount of levels that you could go through in any call of duty at this time you know obviously now we have prestige masters and you have up to level a thousand and ridiculous amounts of like it just you know that's whatever um but back in the day you know being level 70 um 10th prestige master whatever that was like the goal right that was what everybody was going for but it, it felt so far away because what we were used to was you know 10 prestiges up until level 55 or something like that and the second thing that modern warfare 2 had that previous call of duty games never had before was the 25 kill streak the tactical nuke which would end the game completely if you got the tactical nuke then that was it if you were winning losing it didn't matter if you got 25 kills without dying in modern warfare 2 you won with these two things in mind it caused a lot of players to dishonestly boost their character and this doesn't happen so much anymore because call of duty has caught on to it and they've since you know remedied the problem quite a bit uh, but there's an item in call of duty modern warfare 2 called the tactical insertion and what it does is it replaces i believe your primary grenade and it lets you set a spawn point so if you die you actually respawn wherever you dropped your tactical insertion so it makes sense from a game gameplay's perspective right if you're trying to hold down a certain area you're playing defense and you don't want to spawn all the way back in your corner and have to run all the way up to b flag or something like that you know developers thought hey we'll just put in a thing where now you can respawn right right on top of wherever you just were and it takes like maybe four or five seconds to deploy the tactical, tactical insertion so it's not like an instantaneous thing like you still while you're doing the tactical insertion you can die people can shoot you and you can't do anything back so you know there were down, downsides to it as well plus it took up your grenade slot so it seemed balanced on paper but the problem was uh, what would happen is people would actually join a free-for-all lobby and then they would have their friend join like from the Xbox dashboard because you could actually go and if your friend was playing in the game you could actually just join their uh, their game if there was room left uh, and I think since since back in the day they've actually fixed this so if you're in a free-for-all you can't have friends join um I, at least i'm pretty sure that's how it is but what people would do is they would join a free-for-all and if there was you know if there was only uh let's say six people or seven people in the free-for-all they would shoot their friend a message and say hey join my lobby quick before anyone else joins they would join they would all meet they would meet up these two players would meet up in the corner of the map and they would both have a class with a tactical insertion on it one of them would place down the tactical insertion then they would kill their friend and then they would respawn place down another tactical insertion kill their friend and so it goes on and on and on and there was multiple reasons to do this um you know you could be getting headshots for the camos you could be going for a tactical nuke you could be trying to boost your kd um you could just be trying to level up you know by getting headshots you're getting challenges and you can level up faster um and people wanted to hit that level 70 10th prestige so with that being said this was a big problem right and as we all know modern warfare 2 notoriously never got any patch support besides you know like a couple things here and there fixing game breaking things but you know we obviously got the one man army noob tube so that was never fixed there was a lot of things that were never fixed in modern warfare 2 because of the development studios um, a lot of people left after modern warfare 2 so there was a lot going on at the studio at least that's the excuse as to why the 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 final patch never came out for modern warfare 2 that fixed 
one man army and things like that and i would imagine that they would try and fix the tactical insertion issue but alas it never happened so still in the game today is the tactical insertion now as i mentioned at the beginning of this video modern warfare 2 is 10 years old right we're coming up on the 10 year anniversary of modern warfare 2 and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if we saw this year's call of duty being developed by infinity board i wouldn't be surprised if we saw modern warfare 4 with modern warfare 2 remastered bundled land on the 10 year anniversary of modern warfare 2 that would be really exciting i think it would be a nice homage to the og original best you know call of duty at least in my opinion so with that being said i played modern warfare 2 today I popped it in my Xbox. I renewed my Xbox Live subscription because I wanted to play some MW2. I know that it's backwards compatible on the Xbox One, so I figured, hey, with all the hype around there potentially being a remaster, maybe I can jump into a lobby, no big deal. And I have. I've been able to get into free-for-alls. I've been able to get into team deathmatches. I think I was even in a domination at one point. And you do run across, you know, occasional um, hacked lobbies, and it's pretty clear that you can tell once you join in. If you see like a menu or something, obviously you know it's hacked, so you, I just leave. But for the most part, a lot of it's good, and of course, still one man army, whatever the case is. But I was in a majority of my games. A majority of the games were playable games where there wasn't too much noob tubing, there wasn't any hackers. So that's good news, right? That's good, especially for a game whose servers have been online for 10 years. So one thing that i didn't expect right like you know i expect hacked lobbies because the number of uh what is it, j tags or whatever the people with hacked xbox 360s i get that i expect that it's an old game they're not supporting it so hacked lobbies are just gonna happen like they're not gonna ban you on 360 because it's an old console and i expect when one man army noob tubes because it's in the game everybody knows about it it's notorious you know it's the worst thing the worst class setup in any call of duty ever like everybody knows that even if you never played modern warfare 2 you've heard of one man army noob tube most likely um and you know one thing i didn't expect was seeing boosters and i know that that sounds ridiculous right like i'm sure you don't believe me but I have footage of me finding these two players in the corner of a map. I think it was on Creek or whatever the one is with the with the wood lodge, the log cabin on the hill, and there's a little river going down the hill and things like that. You'll see the footage, I'm sure. I'm putting in there when I edit the video. But there were two people that were one. Uh, they were using their tactical insertions right next to each other in a free for all, killing each other over and over and over again. And I thought this was, my mind was blown. I was like, there's no way that there are people who are boosting in a 10 year old Call of Duty. There's no way that that's really happening. So I killed them, obviously, and I go about my business and being, you know, I played the game back when it was, when it was hot, when it was the new thing. I know the boosting spots in these maps because I loved free for all back in the day. It's still my favorite game mode in Call of Duty. So like with Black Ops 4, free for all is not very good. Spawns are trash. The game's not very good. I don't really play black ops 4 because if free for all isn't good i don't want to play it that was my favorite game mode so i know all of the boosting spots on most of the maps right it's always in some back corner some obscure place some you know where it's hard to go or there's never any traffic you know that's where people boost because they're less likely to get caught so i intentionally go now now that i saw them boosting i'm like okay that's ridiculous i can't believe i just saw that so now when i'm running around the map i go out of my way to see if i can find these guys boosting and alas i find them multiple times boosting in a little house in the corner of the map and my mind is blown i'm like i can't believe that these kids are really wasting their life boosting a 10 year old call of duty we're gonna be getting a new call of duty soon it makes no sense whatsoever to be boosting the game so then i get a message after the game's over i think i won the game by like one kill or something like that i get a message after the game's over that these kids are mad at me um and i realize that they're both level 70 like fine max prestige they're 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 you know at the highest level you could be so then i'm like wow that's really weird like they're, they're obviously not boosting if they've gotten to max level and the message from the kid was saying that they wanted to trick shot the last kill so instead of playing the game to the final kill and getting better at sniping what they did was went to the corner boosted up until the last kill and then they started playing the free-for-all so they waste most of the game just shooting their friend in the head over and over and over again 
just so that way they could get to the last kill as fast as possible so they would have as much time as they can to try and trick shot snipe or whatever the case is and this you know i guess it made a bit more sense to me than boosting right because boosting a 10 year old call of duty ridiculous absolutely ridiculous it's absurd so i guess you know them wanting to get the final kill cam trick shot that makes a bit more sense right but at the same time who really cares? Who really cares that you get a cool trick shot on Modern Warfare 2? It doesn't matter. The game is not hot like it was when it was back in the day. Phase is not what it used to be. If you guys haven't realized, like if you guys are still sniping to join Phase, if you haven't realized, Phase is recruiting literal children for their Fortnite team. Like they are recruiting eight year olds, 10 year olds. If you look at the latest Phase recruits, they are literal children. They are teeny tiny little boys. <laughs> Uh, so that is who FaZe is interested in. They don't care if you are trickshotting on Modern Warfare 2. I'm sure they don't care because it's not pulling the views that it used to. Nobody cares about Modern Warfare 2 on YouTube these days. I mean, I'm sure there's a small community. Obviously, here we're, I'm posting it, right? I'm posting gameplay of Modern Warfare 2, but it's nowhere near even black ops 4 you know has way more viewership than Modern Warfare 2 right now and nobody likes black ops 4 so with that being said maybe when you know if we see a remaster in the fall then it would make more sense to be maybe trick shotting on there but to be boosting to the last kill to get a cool final kill cam for what it must be for youtube there's no way that they just do this for fun it, it, i can't imagine so I, yeah i'm really glad that i got the footage i wanted to bring you guys this story i thought it was ridiculous i couldn't believe that i was seeing two people using tactical insertions killing each other over and over and over again and then to come to find out they just wanted to get a cool final kill cam like what are you thinking it, it seems like such a waste of time i don't know it was I, I couldn't believe it um so i wanted to just make this video for you guys just to let you know that i'm excited for the remaster i hope that they do a full remaster it's looking less and less likely but I hope that that is what happens. Um, I wanted to also bring you a funny story and kind of give you a little bit of history about Modern Warfare 2 if you didn't really know about the game, if you're relatively new to Call of Duty, if you joined Call of Duty in Black Ops 2 or something like that, you maybe didn't play too much of Modern Warfare 2 or maybe you didn't you didn't play it at all. So with that being said, I wanted to give you a little bit of a history about tactical insertions and boosting, the history of boosting, things like that. Uh, and just show you this funny clip of these two clowns in the corner boosting a 10 year old call of duty for a final kill cam that nobody cares about <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace